So you nicked your plastic nylon gas line. Now it's leaking. What do you do? Most people are used to rubber hoses. So if you had to replace one of those, it'd be no problem. Once you understand how to work with this nylon hose, you won't have a problem with it either. We're gonna go through the techniques of the barbed fitting as well as the compression fitting. When done right, they both work perfect. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and take off this fuel filter. And once we've got it off, we'll clip off the bad section. So I just use a set of wire cutters and just clip it off. There are basically two sizes of this nylon plastic tubing and the 5 16th is the most common. I usually buy it in coils because it's a bit cheaper. Just make sure that you have gas line that's made of nylon. With a utility knife, I just cut off the old stuff so I can expose the barbed fitting. I like to clean up these barbed fittings on a wire wheel because when you put everything back together, it's so nice to have it clean. Another technique that I've been using for many years is I take a piece of sandpaper and I clean each of these surfaces. When I'm done with this technique, you can see the scratches. And these scratches ensure that the surface is perfectly flat so it'll accept that crush washer perfectly. Then I clean up the nut as well so everything's perfectly flat and square. When I clamp these fittings back onto the fuel filter, I'm ensured they're gonna seal. These compression fittings work really good with this nylon gas line, and you just pop it right off by pushing the blue washer. They also make it in a T. That way, if I ever wanted to do a pressure test on the fuel line, I can pull this cap off and I'm ready to go. Well, we'll go ahead and cut a piece of this off and we'll start explaining how to get these barbed fittings on the proper way. Because these lines are high pressure, these ear clamps are absolutely necessary to make sure that they seal perfectly. So before we get started, go ahead and put the ear clamp on first, and then we'll put the barbed fitting on next. The manufacturer says you can put motor oil on the barbed fitting. I do, because it really does help. There are basically two methods of softening the plastic. We'll start with the boiling water. So you push it on as far as you can. And if you can't get it all the way on, go ahead and put it back into the boiling water and press it on that way. The method I actually prefer is a hair dryer. So you heat it up and then once it's soft, you go ahead and press it in. You could use a hot air gun, but you gotta be real careful not to overheat it. Now that the hose is on, you wanna put the hose clamp on and then take a pair of flush cut pliers and crimp it on tightly. Now that you've got those techniques down, we're ready to put it all back together. And you're ready to go. So we'll connect up the barbed fitting to the fuel filter with the crush washers and we'll start putting it back onto the car. Connecting two straight pieces together with this compression fitting is absolutely wonderful. You can see it's on there. And of course the real test is plug it in, turn on the engine, and it's perfect. If you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope I've given you the confidence to dare to repair. If you have enjoyed these videos, I invite you to watch some of my other videos.